busking definitely is an apprenticeship. You would get the few people that I guess they just weren't having a good day and are taking it out on you. It's good character building. We are on the famous Buchanan Street, the home of mostly Scotland's buskers, I'd say. It definitely shapes you as a performer because you learn how to work an audience and how to get people's attention. Well, we're heading to the main spot for me when I was busking, my favourite spot, where it all happens. <laughs> you would have to get up about six in the morning. We got off out the bus or the taxi and we literally bolted to get to this spot, it's just a race. Yes, this is, this is us. And I'd stand here in front of the mic and Dylan would stand here playing guitar for me. Dylan John Thomas is another singer-songwriter from Glasgow. I stood and watched him and we kind of knew who, he, who each other were. And once he finished his set, he just kind of was like, hi, come over and we spoke. And I ended up singing a couple of songs that day and that was my very first instance of busking. I was introduced to music from my gran and my papa. They were dead into their ballroom dancing and dead into their country music. I had grew up listening to Johnny Cash and Patsy Cline and also like Buddy Holly and I guess you could just say like all, all the legends. Touring and playing to audiences in actual venues is definitely a lot better than busking. It's, it's amazing, it's so surreal playing to people that want to listen to you. Dylan's taken me on tour with him. I've supported him so many times in Glasgow. I've supported him um, across the UK on his own headline tour. And by the end of that year, he took me with him while he supported Jerry and Liam Gallagher, and that was in places like the Hydro and the P&J Arena in Aberdeen. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> My Papa Jerry passed away, and he was my one constant, and he was the one person that really, really made me feel like I was worth something and I was worthy of love, I was worthy of success, I was just worthy of, I guess, being here. One of the last days out we had, we were in a restaurant and someone noticed me and knew who I was and came up and was just asking like, oh, so whereabouts do you play? And at the time I had played the Hydro, I had played in Amsterdam and I turned around and I said, oh, I just play the pubs, but I had played these crazy venues and my papa wasn't happy with me at all. And I'll always remember, he said to me, I want you to tell the truth and tell everybody just what you've done and what you've achieved. That's when I started to write. Now I'm taking my struggles and putting them into something that means so much to me. Sometimes you just sit with the guitar, strum a chord and everything kind of pours out of you. So we've got a full EP coming out which I'm so excited for. I had the pleasure of recording that with James Skelly down in Parr Street in Liverpool. James Skelly is the front man of the band The Coral. James Skelly just handing you a Martin guitar and being like right let's go into the booth and start recording. It's well, it's class, it's absolutely amazing. Every track has got a different feel to it, but I guess you could say the overall kind of message for the EP is about making your mark and standing your ground and holding your own. This feeling of what's the point because my papa's not here turned into I'm going to do this 
for my papa. I am absolutely desperate to get out and play gigs again. I just want to share my music with everybody and I want, I just want to, I guess, be part of something. Buskin's definitely been good character building. It's definitely allowed me to be able to deal with criticism. My music could maybe help people the way that music has helped me.